Well, a bit of Hollywood comes to our town today. Actor Richard Roundtree is in Philadelphia. But instead of reading lines from a movie script, he's here with his own story, one of survival. All that and more is Denise DeCano is here to tell us all about it on the Health Watch. Denise. Tracy, folks of a certain age remember movie star Richard Roundtree as Shaft, the 70s private eye. Well, today we know the 65-year-old for his roles in Desperate Housewives, Heroes, and this summer's big film, Speed Racer. But what brought him to Philly today is cancer, his own. Some kind of wonderful! Richard Roundtree in Philadelphia to celebrate life. Fifteen years ago, the actor learned he had breast cancer. If you have a body part, cancer can attack it. And it, it doesn't gender, age, race, that, no. None of that stuff plays into it. We all can contract breast cancer. Back then, he hid his diagnosis, fearful he wouldn't get work. Hollywood does, does not know how to deal with sick people. Today, he was part of Cancer Treatment Centers of America's recognition of people like Jan Peterson, commemorating five years of surviving cancer. I had advanced ovarian cancer. Two oncologists gave me a death sentence because they said that there was just no hope. She says her grim diagnosis is what makes today such an important anniversary. After his own five-year anniversary of being cancer-free, Roundtree remembers his doctor well, saying it best. Hump. When he said you're no longer a cancer patient, you are a uh, survivor, it was incredible. Roundtree's more famous for Shaft than anything else. He says he'd love for people to move on, but he says his dad put it all in perspective. He said, son, listen, let me tell you something. A lot of people leave this earth not being known for anything. Shut up. <laughs> all right. Well, Roundtree says men take better care of their cars than their own health. He's urging men to pay attention to their bodies and be aware that they, too, can get breast cancer. Denise Nakano, all that and more. Denise, thanks. Now to a growing trend in America that seems to be catching on like wildfire.